The Genesis Schema is the implementation of the system definition language. Let's take a look at a subset of the schema, how to view the schema and its details, and how to display definitions of classes and attributes when modeling. This diagram illustrates a subset of the basic schema, showing some of the primary systems engineering classes and relationships between them. It's important to note the interconnected nature of the schema. It's easy to fall into the trap of viewing your model from the top down, losing sight of data related at lower levels. Each class in the schema has been defined and documented for you. You can easily view this definition. Just expand the schema branch in the Project Explorer, then click Classes. You'll then have a list of all classes and can select one to view its complete definition. To view the properties of attributes, parameters, or relations, simply right-click on the item of interest, then click Properties. The schema also contains sections for facilities and relations. Facilities are subsets of classes that allow you to focus on a subset of the system model. Click Facilities in the Project Explorer to view a list of available facilities. Then, select a facility to see its definition. Relation pair definitions can be viewed in a similar manner. Select Relations in the Project Explorer. Then select the desired relation pair to view its definition. If you are new to using Genesis, you may find the Display Definitions feature to be helpful. This feature allows you to hover over a class or attribute to view its schema description. When I select a class, it shows the description of that class. If I hover over an attribute, I see the definition of that attribute. This is helpful for quick information while you are modeling. This feature can be toggled on or off in the Preferences. To do this, click the Application menu, then Preferences. Select User. Add or remove the checkmark next to Display Definitions, then click OK.